Several years ago, I taught a methodology for animating many formula transformations. While this methodology works, it is very time-consuming and tedious. However, now there are interactive versions of Manim, we can create a simpler methodology than the previous one. I have been working on for almost half a year and which I have used many times for my projects. We are going to make this animation using this methodology. The first thing we need is to create a markdown file with this format. You can use VS Code to preview the formulas or any other similar software. The application that allows us to use this new methodology, I have called it Easy Formula Transformation, and I have created a version for Manim C 0.17.2 and for Manim GL. In this part here, I am reading the formulas we defined in the markdown file and saving them in the global variable list strings. Here I am creating a new scene of type Easy Formula Index, which obviously comes from this module. In this part, I am overriding some class variables that will modify the default settings. In the Arrange Methods array, I can indicate the way I want the formulas to be displayed. You will understand when you see the result. I'm going to create an alias with these commands to make it easier to use Manum CE. And now I'm going to render the scene we just created. This is our interactive animation. If you hover the symbols you will notice that they change color. However the formulas look very small, so let's make them bigger. With the escape key we finish with the process, don't worry about the error that appears in the terminal. To make the formulas bigger we can add a new function with this format. You can add as many functions as you want. Just keep in mind that only two formulas can be displayed simultaneously. As you can see the formulas have been made larger and are easier to select. Now, what we are going to do is select a symbol and move it to the symbol we want to transform it to. We do this for each symbol in the formula. With the N key, we can see the subscripts of both formulas. If we hover a selected formula and press the N key, you can see that the subscripts of the formulas will be displayed and it will also show us which symbol is to be transformed. In case we have made a mistake, we press the U key to undo any change. If we want to see a preview of how the transformation will look like, we can use the spacebar. Now, I'm sure you're wondering what this is all for. If you press the S key, the terminal will show us the relationship between each index. And with the W key, it will create a file where it will save the subscripts of this transformation. If we press the C key, we will see that it has created another markdown file with the formulas that we are transforming and the subscripts with a special format that I invented. I am going to close the app for now and we are going to see this file with VS Code. We see here the two formulas that we are transforming and the subscripts. These subscripts we are going to use in our Manum animation. The way to use the subscripts is the following. I am going to create a new normal scene and I am going to instantiate the first two formulas. Remember that in the global variable list strings, we have the formulas that we defined in this markdown. I am going to use the index animation function that is also defined in the easy formula transformation module. This function receives the two formulas that are going to be transformed and at the end it receives the array with the subscripts that we have exported with the app. To make the animation look better I am going to make the formulas bigger.
As you can see, the animation works correctly. Finally, I will remove the last symbol of the first formula with a fade out. And ready, you can position the formulas where you want. As I said at the beginning, this tool is also available for ManimGL, and it works basically the same, it is up to you which version you want to use. I am using ManimGL from this specific commit, because if you are using an older version it may not work for you, but in general it should work for ManimGL 1.6 or higher. Now let's see the workflow that I use, so that you have an idea of how this tool is used in a real project. I am going to use the ManimGL version this time, since fortunately the behavior of the subscripts of the formulas is the same in ManimC and ManimGL, so it doesn't matter which one you use. At the top right, you can see that we are looking at formula pair, one of four. This animation we have already done, so to move to the next pair, we press enter. Now it shows us the next pair. We relate the symbols one by one again. To make the preview, we press the space bar. Save the changes by pressing W. In my personal case, I use Typera to work with markdown files, but you can use VS Code or any other. You can see that it has saved the subscripts and shows me the current step. Now, the next step is to draw these bars when the transformation is done. Sometimes the symbols are too small to select, so to change the size of the formulas we can use the Z and X keys together with the scroll. With the R key, we return to the initial values. With the A key, we can highlight the symbols we are interested in. When we have selected all the symbols, we press W again to save the subscripts. If we look at the file, we can see that it has indeed written the subscripts that we have highlighted. We can edit the markdown file if we want. Here I made a mistake in the recording, we don't want to remove the symbols, we want to write them, I will fix it later. As I said before, we can change the size of the formulas by holding down the Z or X keys together with the scroll. And to move the formulas, we can hold down the V or B keys. In my case, it does not look very good because I am recording the screen and my computer has low resources, but it works. We go on to select the symbols and save the changes. Now, the next step is to highlight the symbols to be written after the transformation. Save the changes and do the same with the next formula. Save the changes and that's it, we are done. Now let's use this information to create our animation. I have refactored the code to make it easier to use, but up to this point it does exactly the same thing. Now, we can copy the above code and reuse it. We could save all the subscripts in an external file and import it to make it easier to handle, but this example is intended to be as demonstrative as possible.
We see that everything works fine, we move on to the next example. All good, let's move on to the final step. And ready, let's see the complete animation. Excellent. I will leave in the description and cards another video with more things that you can do with this tool, but the most important thing you have already seen here. Well, the initial price of this tool is $50, but during the whole month of March and April, the price will be $30. In addition, for a special promotion of $200, you can take my 75 animations that I had already shown in another video along with this tool, and also, as a gift, two other libraries, one of music and another of slides that I will release in about three weeks. The people who have already bought the $200 package from me, I have already sent them the code for this tool. This promotion will only run for the month of March and April. Thanks for getting here, see you in the next line of code.